installing and setting up the Metasploit framework from GitHub, this time on Metasploit Minute. This Metasploit Minute is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Nubix. In this minute, we're going to be setting up the latest version of Metasploit directly from GitHub repository. So let me show you on the screen. The first thing we got to do is we have to get all of the packages that we're going to need for this. So if you go over to darkoperator.com slash installing Metasploit in Ubuntu, it cuts off the U, but Ubuntu, he has a great way to install on Ubuntu 12.04. We're going to steal a bunch of that for installing on Kali because it's basically Ubuntu. So we just steal the app get install. We throw it in there. Hit go. And everything's already as newest revision because I just did this before we started recording. So we are virtually good to go here. And next, we just got to get clone. We got to pull the repository down. But where do you pull it down from? So on github.com slash rapid7 slash metasploit dash framework. This is the latest and greatest good stuff. This is as soon as they start developing um, anything new, they figure it out, they get all the bugs out of it, they commit it into this uh, code repository, and you get all the greatest new features instantly. You don't have to wait for anything in, into the community, Express or Pro editions. Since I happen to know this URL by uh, heart, I can just type it in, git clone. So we clone the repository or pull down a copy of it. HTTPS github.com forward slash rapid7 forward slash metasploit framework, oop, framework, framework, dot get. If I was going to hit enter right now, it'd start uh, pulling stuff down, but we actually started that ahead of time so we don't have to wait as long. All right, now that this is all done, we just CD into our new Metasploit directory. Now, before we are actually able to start anything, um, we have to do something called bundle install. This is a Ruby thing. What it is is, is installing all of the Ruby modules or, or what are packages or gems, I guess is the correct term, um, that you need for Metasploit to run correctly. All right, so one of the things I didn't have on this Kali install was bundle. So all you have to do is gem install bundle, and it should work out correctly. And now bundle install should work. Bundle install. We'll just wait until this is finished. This is going to take a second. It's installing all of the gems that are needed for Metasploit. All right, now that that's done, we can actually start up Metasploit. So we do dot forward slash, and let's look at the directory before. So there's a lot of elf binaries and, and, and different scripts in here. MSF console is the one that we start Metasploit with, the framework. So we're going to do a dot slash so that we're running the one inside of this directory, not the previously installed version. And we hit enter. Now, what this is actually doing is it's, it's starting up and pulling all of the uh, Metasploit modules and libraries into memory. So this could take a second. And that's one of the great things about the database. And then there's a lot of things good about the database. But if you didn't set up the database beforehand, um, this is going to take a while. Um, and it's going to take a while for um, every single time you do it. So that's why we're going to set up the database. So the first thing that we do have to do is we have to have a, uh, a database to connect to. So inside of Kali, there's already the database for Metasploit. Uh, and it's already running. So let's just stop the other Metasploit instance so we can save some RAM. But what we're not stopping is the Postgres database that is already there. So let's just use uh, Dark Operator's awesome um, tutorial again. And real quick before I do that, I forgot to mention, um, if, you have an, if you have any problems with the gem install or the bundle install, uh, on this, particularly the JSON gem, that's because in, in uh, Kali Linux you need this other, reposit this other package called ruby-dev. And that's one of the only changes that I made to uh, Carlos's script. So going back to the database stuff, we have to 
set up our database. So what we're going to first do is we already know that the database is there. So we sue into the Postgres user. Then we create a user called MSF git or whatever you want. And I'm just going to copy and paste the rest of this in. Paste, hit enter. Our new user's password is MSF, MSF. Now we're going to create a database. And we're going to assign the role to MSF git. So that created our new database with the user that has privileges to it with MSF git. And we exit. Now the database is completely created. So how do you connect it to the database? There's a ton of ways, and we'll go a lot more into how to connect this thing to the database. The best way to do this is to go into your new .msf3 or msf4 directory and create a new file called database.yml. Nano, database, and yes, you can hate me for not using Vim or Vi or Emacs or whatever, .yml. We're going to copy and paste this in. And we're going to make one slight change. What I did was made it MSF direct MSF database with MSF git as the user. So we save that out. And now when we go back into our MSF directory and start up MSF console, when Metasploit starts, when the Git repository version of, of Metasploit starts, it should automatically see that database.yml and connect to the database. So now it's creating all of those cache um, tables and keys and stuff, and the initial module cache will be built. This will take a while. Depending on the VM and the amount of RAM and other, th other things, it will take a while to start up. So we're not going to wait for this to start up. I just want you to let me know what you think about these segments. And wow, it's already done. So what do you think? Hit me up at msf at hack5.org and stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. Until then, I'm Umix and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. Yay! Demo awesome!